Sophia here to share with you some hopeful climate news of the day. I'm showing you this en um, this website called Enroads, which is built on thousands of equations to show different policy. So this is Enroads. It's by MIT. This graph on the left is global sources of primary energy. Um, so green is renewables, pink is bioenergy, uh, blue is gas, natural gas, brown is coal, red is oil, and light blue is nuclear. And then this orange stuff that you can barely see is something we haven't invented yet, like tech, some kind of technology. Um, so, yeah. Um, and then this one is temperature change. We are right here in 2021, um, 1.2 maybe. And then these gray lines are where we should stay below. Um, 1.5 would be great, but we're already getting there. So if we can sacrifice coral reefs and, and um, snow, then we can do two. Um, and so these are different models. You can slide the lever or you can do a deep dive. So do you have any ideas of what would the, um, decrease the temperature change? What if we were all incentivized to drive electric cars? There are only electric cars on the road. Yes. We hear that a lot in Maine um, because we're a royal rural state. So I'm just going to slide this lever. And whoa, renewables went crazy. But look at the temperature. It only went down. So the black line is normal without any policy, just normal. And the blue is what it would be with a lot of electrification, um, highly incentivized. So don't need to be a downer, but we need to do more. It's good, but we need to do more. Any other? Okay, what if, we, what if we planted just lots and lots of trees and stopped cutting down trees? All right, so afforestation is planting a lot of trees and deforestation is, um, well, if we slide the lever over here, that would be not cutting down trees. So. Afforestation, a little bit. Deforestation, like a tenth of a degree, maybe? Mm. Yeah, it's like a tenth of a, degree, of a degree. So we still need to do more. We it obviously didn't do anything to our energy because trees is trees. Trees are trees. Hmm. What if we um, had a big increase in nuclear power? Nuclear? Okay. Um, after you do this, I'll show you my idea. But this is nuclear. Nuclear, the blue went up, um, as you could imagine. Um, but sorry, the blue still um, isn't going down a lot. It's good. I mean, if we did wanted to do a lot of work and do all these things, then maybe. But my idea, what something that's really effective, I think, is carbon price. CCL, Citizens Climate Lobby, is um, lobbying for a carbon price in the Senate. So I'll show you what that looks like. It's called Carbon Energy Innovation and Carbon Dividend Act. So it starts off zero, I mean, 15, sorry, $15 a ton of CO2, 2021 takes us, sorry, one year to achieve final carbon price, um, 800, eight, over 80 years, and then plus the initial 15 would be 815. 
Okay, so we're going to go up ten dollars per ton a year. Great. Yes, that's that's the idea. Um. Then this would be twenty twenty one, this year. And then it would be eighty years. And look at that carbon price! It's going up and up. And oh my goodness! The the um the temperature went down so much. Wow! And so imagine all these other things that people are talking about the most actually do less than what people aren't talking about, carbon price. So I'm inviting you to spread the word um, who's ever watching this video. And also renewables went up, that's good. So we're not at two degrees or 1.5, but we did go more than any other single policy doubled. So I'm gonna show you this quick thing. Um, it's, uh, let's see. Uh, so I need to find this. Sorry. Uh, greenhouse gas. Oh, green greenhouse gas emissions. So this is CO two. The black or the gray black thing is CO two. Blue is methane, and these are other natural gases. So we buy, um, we, need, we still need to get down to two. So the, now at the end of the century, carbon isn't the problem anymore, it's methane. So if we, I don't know, um, didn't farm better and things like that, we could, we're sliding methane over and then Whoa, we're at 2.1. And now that those were just two policies, two tiny two policies. And we we still can do way more than that. So then we can start doing what other people are talking about. Um, I think another effective thing is carbon removal technology, techno technologically, which would either be suck, a machine sucking it or putting it back in the soil. Um, and actually our representative in Maine District 1 is talking about that on oh, Shelly Pingree. So we can do that. And then 1.6, we're, we're nearly there. So I promised it would end on a happy note and here we are. So I'm gonna move into this slideshow. Um, so Energy Innovation and Carbon Dividend Act is effective as you saw it's good for people because it prices carbon and then there's a dividend that comes back to families and um, <coughs> kids get half credit actually can you share your slideshow uh do you not see it i don't see it maybe you can stop sharing your and uh maybe stop sharing for a minute and then click switch screens and then share again okay <laughs> sorry um all right so now do you see it yes all right so it's good it's effective good for people good for the economy and revenue neutral so pretty convincing Um, ah, what? Oh, there. So I recharge a fee on fossil fuels at the source. So even if someone really like still drove a truck and was it smart with the dividend with the dividend check, um, he would still be buying from companies that moved. And then it goes to the government, and it has to be paid out in full. So. There's no, there's nothing, there's, there, it, there's nothing um, about politicians taking that money for something else, which is good for a lot of people. Um, it's a healthy environment. Today, um, 114,000 lives lost 
due to air pollution and other causes. Um, if we have this carbon price, 400,000 lives saved. And, and you can see in the picture, much happier world. <laughs> and today, zero dollars paid to households. And for a family of four, at, at, in 10 years, it's $4,410. So even, even though um, you're paying into it, you get some back. This is good. Uh, jobs are created, um, $240 billion in annual costs from health eaten from environmental and health harms of fossil fuels. 2.1 million jobs created over 10 years. Um, and you might be thinking, well, that doesn't seem fair. Um, someone, if, if I have a low income and someone in my neighbor is really high income, that's not fair because we get the same dividend check. Well, um, this is a graph to show you that if you're um, 0 to 10%, uh, you have really low income, you do the best because even though you um, get the same check as, say, Jeff Bezos, then Jeff Bezos is paying more into it. So um, he has like a he did pool and things. And Amazon, actually, I, I don't have this in my head, but Amazon would also be paying into it off topic. But um, I'm going to move to this graph. Um, countries that ha are participating in carbon pricing, like all the colorful ones, not the gray ones, are participating in carbon pricing. So it may seem like, I've never heard of this, why should we do this? But everyone else is doing this. So it's some sort of carbon pricing. It may not be like um, carbon fee and dividend, but it's something. So we need to we need to get going on this in other words um and then this one um for for those who uh, who think this is never gonna pass uh it's not bipartisan well it is um strong support or support democrats is 80 percent when explained to them republicans you may think republicans tend to not but they do under 40 years old, it's almost the same, 75%. So that's good. Um, and then this one is a sad one. The darkest colors, United States, Russia, China, are the ones that are the most into it, the, the, most, the ones that contribute to climate change the most. And sadly, United States is the deepest red, um, 30%. And um, Africa, the one that doesn't contribute too much, actually is the one that has the debts, the, the one that has to pay into it because, and, and so that's not fair. Another reason why we should act on this. And then this is us lobbying for our senators and representatives in Citizen Climate Lobby. Thank you for listening to this presentation. Um, Thank you. See you soon.